Peter Deuce's line of questioning taps into a broader conservative critique, painting Joe Biden and Kamala Harris as being out of touch with the struggles of everyday Americans, particularly during moments of crisis like natural disasters. He highlights the perceived disconnect between leadership and the people, contrasting Biden's retreat to his beach house and Harris attending a political fundraiser while residents in western North Carolina face deadly flooding. His questions underscore the conservative value of strong, hands-on leadership during tough times. Leadership that is both physically present and emotionally engaged with those suffering. On Helene, people in western North Carolina were drowning in their houses this weekend. Others were losing everything. President Biden was at his beach house, and Vice President Harris was hosting political fundraisers on the West Coast. Is there a reason that they could not be here? The president did exactly what a president in this moment needs to do, which is directing his team to take action. One of the reasons that the FEMA administrator was here in this room on Thursday is the president wanted to make sure that we were sending a message out to folks who were going to be impacted by the hurricane and also wanted her to share how we were pre-positioning on the ground. Remember, these are folks who do this type of stuff. When you think about FEMA, you think about the Red Cross, you think about the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers. This is what they do. This is what they do. And so the president was on the phone. He said this when he was asked a question by one of your colleagues for more than two hours yesterday with governors and local elected officials, making sure that they had what they needed. You heard me talk about Governor Kemp and what he said to the president himself. He said this and shared this in a press conference that the president has provided and said, what else do you need? And he actually said to the president, we have what we need. So and that's, a, as you know, a Republican governor. Uh, and Look, and I talked about how the vice president also did her calls. She's going to be uh, going to the FEMA, um, FEMA uh, agency in, a, in the center, uh, the center to, to get her briefing later this afternoon. The president is continuing, continuing to have these conversations uh, with folks on the ground, elected officials on the ground to make sure that they have what they need and directing his team to keep pushing. At the core, Ducey's questions speak to a public concern about government priorities and accountability. There's an expectation that in times of disaster, leaders should not only coordinate relief efforts, but also make their presence known, offering symbolic leadership through empathy and direct involvement. The critique suggests that Biden and Harris are seen as distant, prioritizing political or personal engagements over urgent public needs. Conservatives often view leadership as requiring proximity to the people, responsibility, and swift decisive action, especially in crisis. The stark contrast between the political elite and ordinary citizens lies at the heart of Deuce's argument, which reflects frustration with the administration's perceived lack of visible engagement. Psychologically, Deuce's questions mirror the frustrations many feel when leaders seem absent or disengaged during crisis. His questioning implies a need for leaders to be more than just managers behind the scenes. They need to be seen, to stand with those affected, offering not only solutions but solidarity. The absence of a leader in such moments can stir feelings of abandonment or betrayal among the public, fueling criticism. Deuce's pointed inquiries accuse Biden and Harris of neglecting their symbolic duty by being physically removed from the crisis. On the other side, White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre's response focuses on the administration's logistical actions and policy decisions, appealing to rational expectations of government efficiency. However, this approach may miss the emotional mark. People often want to see their leaders directly involved, visibly sharing in the hardships. While the administration may be working behind the scenes, the lack of an emotional or physical presence can fuel accusations that the leaders are disconnected, reinforcing the psychological divide between the government and those affected. This highlights the tension between administrative competence and the emotional need for leaders to demonstrate empathy and solidarity during times of suffering.